hey there everyone welcome to another video fox android so in this video we're gonna learn how to zoom in and zoom out of an image view using gestures right so let me just give you a brief demonstration of what we can get by the end of this video so if you can see on my mobile screen i have an image view in my activity if i just uh, pinch out right you can see here i can zoom into this image i can even scroll this image if i just double taps on it it goes to the original size if i again double taps on this the image zooms in right so this is what we'll be getting by the end of this video if you want to implement the same to your android application make sure you watch this video till the end so without much ado let's get started So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for seeing notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. So to implement this function, we are going to use a library. So if I just go to my browser, here you can see this is the library. I'll put the link for this library in the description below. You can just go and check it out. So let us just discuss that why are we going to use an external library? Because uh, if we want to implement this feature, we'll be writing the same code that someone has already written it, right? And he must have fixed the bugs that are there over the period of time, right? So we'll not be wasting our time that the option that is already there the library that is already there in the github repo right we are just going to implement it and use it it inside our android app so just go to this link right and come down so if you can see here we need to uh, just copy this come back to android studio just go to project level build out gradle and inside this all projects repositories paste it right then go to level build dot create come back to browser and just copy this and paste it here just sync now okay so the sync has been completed it may take a while depends on your intense now let's just go to the xml file where we want to implement this image view so let me just delete this text view and if I just go to this split window here we need to put this particular element and we'll set the width to match parent and the height to match parent as well let us just put ID single image you can give it any idea it doesn't matter and oops I guess it should be like this and we'll set the source here so for this I have an image in my local drive I'll just copy this and paste it to the trouble folder done so let us just set this as the source for this image and you're done that is all we need to do to implement this feature right so if we are uh, going to do it ourselves we have to write a lot of backend code handle multiple things right but we have to write just these five lines and we are done with it. so let me just quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right okay guys, the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen if i just zoom in this image view yeah zoom out double tap on this again double tap right so i guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our android application in case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video see another video bye